Hey guys, in today's video I want to talk about and give my review of the Chainsmokers latest album called Summertime Friends. So some of you might know, some of you might not know, last Friday, October 20th, the Chainsmokers kind of secretly released an album. The album is called Summertime Friends and it's made up of all of their recent singles from 2023. The album only has eight songs on it and it's very short. I think it comes in at like 21 minutes and I have thought long and hard about this and now I think it's finally time for me to give my review of it. I'm kind of here to give my thoughts and tell you guys what's been going on with the Chainsmokers because this was obviously a very, very different album release different from anything they've ever done and I can't even really give a reaction video for the full album just because it's all singles. I am filming this Monday October 23rd so this is based off of all of the information I have up until this date. Let's get right into it because I've got a lot to talk about. I have so many thoughts on this album. I honestly haven't been very active recently on the Chainsmokers Discord so I didn't really know what was going on. The same night I filmed my reaction video to the latest single which was Think of Us. That night I checked their Discord and there was a post made about the album. So according to the Discord, Think of Us completed the album Summertime Friends. It's the last single and basically the last song of the album. So Summertime Friends is the album and includes all of the eight recent singles. When I first read that, I was kind of confused because I thought it meant that completed all of the new singles and we were still going to get new songs with the album drop. I thought there might be some non-singles included on the album too. But that same night, the whole album was released and that was it. And if you're not a member of the Chainsmokers Discord, you probably wouldn't even know that because they have not made any public announcement or post about the album at all. And then I checked again the next morning and there was a post on the Discord that kind of explained the situation. So basically all of the recent singles were put into one album. I already reacted to all of the singles before I knew this whole album was going to be a bundle of singles. Since the start of this era, this Chainsmokers 5 era, the Chainsmokers have said that this was going to be a very different rollout for them. They basically basically said it's not going to be a true traditional album, it's going to be more of a bundle or a compilation of all of their singles from 2023. So they said not to think of this project as an album, just think of it as a bundle basically. They said don't expect it to be like their other albums. To the general public, I don't think they know that because still the Chainsmokers have not posted about it yet. But I feel like there might be another layer to the situation. I've recently been reading up on the Discord and there are so many mixed feelings and thoughts about the whole situation. And everyone is kind of confused about the rollout and what's been going on and I found it super interesting so I did want to talk about it in this video. So like I said I have so many mixed feelings and opinions about the whole album rollout and the fact that it's not an album. It's technically a bundle in the Chainsmokers eyes. I understand them and I do respect them for doing something different and not having like a traditional album. Personally I do prefer like their big traditional standard albums in their album releases. That's what I hoped for. I wanted like another so far so good type of situation where it was a traditional album with a traditional album rollout. I absolutely love that and I'm kind of sad that we did not get that with this album and it wasn't very clear what was going on either. So last year when So Far So Good came out, you know, that was super hype. I absolutely loved it and I really thought the Chainsmokers were going to go up from there but I honestly think this time they kind of took a few steps backwards. I hate to say it because I'm such a big Chainsmokers fan, but that's honestly how I feel right now. So they had been hyping up the Chainsmokers 5 for months. I'm pretty sure they started talking about it like right after So Far So Good released. And they called it the Chainsmokers 5, which in my opinion implies an album. Cause you know, you always put like the artist's initial and then next to it, the number of the album it would be. So the Chainsmokers 5, TCS stands for the Chainsmokers and five means their fifth album. So I think from the start, calling it the Chainsmokers 5 implied it would be their next album because So Far So Good was labeled TCS4 and so on and they weren't even really clear on a release date. They did mention a few things on Discord but there was no huge special announcement so it definitely seemed like they dropped the album out of nowhere like a big surprise and I think there might be kind of a conspiracy theory behind it. I don't know what else to call it and I kind of made up my own theory for what happened with this release. They've been releasing singles about one a month for the past couple of months so maybe they weren't doing as well as they hoped and so they decided to drop Think of Us and then also just 
just kind of drop the album out of nowhere just so that it's kind of over and done with. I feel like they kind of want to move on pretty quickly from the Chainsmokers 5 and just go right into the Chainsmokers 6, especially since this project wasn't really received very well with the fans. And they had all of these eight songs already and then at the last minute they kind of just decided to release them as a bundle instead of an album. It's not even called an album, it's getting very little attention and I feel like it was intentional for it to be kind of a secret surprise release. It just seems very rushed and last minute, like maybe they had an original plan and then halfway through they decided to change it. So maybe originally it was going to be a bigger album kind of idea and concept like So Far So Good and then they just decided to make it like this bundle of singles, almost like a cover-up to kind of just make an excuse for it and then call it a bundle and that's it, it's done, now we're working on the next project. I hope this makes sense, I feel like I'm just saying a bunch of stuff but I hope you guys are understanding what I mean. I was definitely hyped for this album months ago but now that it's kind of here as these singles with no announcement I definitely lost interest. I think maybe they don't want a lot of mainstream attention to it. Maybe they don't like how it turned out because a lot of the singles haven't been doing that well at least compared to their other albums and their other songs. So maybe they saw that it was poorly received and they kind of just wanted to release it as a bundle or maybe they never even had a plan to begin with. They were just releasing singles whenever they wanted. Maybe that's why it seems so weird and random and as they were releasing singles, they just decided to make it a bundle with the last one being Think of Us. I have no clue. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing a bunch of ideas out there. Now I want to talk about what I personally think happened. So this is a little more specific. Okay, so hear me out with this. It might be a little bit crazy. I've had a couple of days to think about it and here's what I came up with. I think they started out really strong with the first singles that came out and then maybe halfway through things kind of fell off. It wasn't received as well. Maybe the streaming numbers weren't doing as well and they kind of decided to give up. Especially Especially since the first four singles had matching cover art styles, the last four singles had a bigger difference in styles, like they just seemed a bit more random compared to the first four singles. My Bad, Up and Down, See You Again, and Self Destruction Mode. They all had a very similar matching artwork style, especially the first three. They were all kind of orange and had a fire theme going on and maybe that was like the true first idea of the album and then they decided to change it and they moved away from that fire concept because the last singles definitely have more random looking cover art styles. They don't match at all. Summertime Friends, Jungle, Cellular, and Think of Us. And to me, they sound more pop and radio friendly and they do seem a bit more random, especially Jungle. Like a Jungle is definitely like a festival dance song and Cellular is a Spanish song. So those are like really different and I for sure thought those were not going to be on the album. Album. So maybe that was the turning point. They changed their minds about something and decided to add the last four singles to this bundle. And then it kind of went from being an album to more of a bundle to kind of hide the fact that these were all kind of just random singles thrown together. And then the actual album cover came out and it was a green theme and it was to reference that movie Fallen Angels. I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese movie. According to their discord, there really was no color theme to the album from the beginning. I don't know if that's really true because clearly the first few singles had a very distinct style. Visually they looked all connected and I definitely thought like this was the style for the album visually. It was gonna have something to do with fire and being darker. It's just really really weird. Like why have all of these singles look similar and then when the album comes out and the other singles don't match it at all, there are just so many things that make me think they changed their plan halfway through or at some point something changed. Something happened and this whole album became a bundle and I feel like the final product seemed kind of rushed. Maybe I'm going way too deep into this and there's been no real promotion or communication either and usually even if they would drop it as a bundle I think they would definitely make a post about it which they haven't yet so that's also kind of fishy but to kind of counter that I've heard people say maybe the intention was for it to just be a fun collaboration project all of the singles have features so maybe it was meant to be just a fun collab album or bundle so maybe there was no big album plan from the start maybe that's true I don't really know I'm still trying to wrap my head around the idea of it being a bundle or compilation instead of an album especially because in the beginning they hyped it up as the Chainsmokers 5 which to me made it seem like it was going to be this big album so I feel like maybe that was a little misleading like maybe just 
call it a bundle or call it a compilation from the beginning of the year. And maybe they did mention that on the Discord and maybe I just missed it. Again, I really hope they explain it publicly. I guess you could kind of compare the Summertime Friends rollout to the World War Joy rollout. That was a mouthful. <laughs> World War Joy had like mostly singles. It was like 75% singles and then I think four non-singles when the album came out. But at least with that, it was a true album, not a bundle. There was promotion and all that kind of stuff. And there even was a little bit of criticism with that. I heard a lot of people People say they wish World War Joy had more non-singles. So I guess this Chainsmokers 5 era is kind of over, although I don't really feel like it was a true era. I just don't feel a real connection to it like I did with So Far So Good. I feel like there was so much potential coming off of So Far So Good, like that was their peak and I really thought it was gonna go uphill from there, but I was honestly let down by this idea of a bundle and summertime friends overall. The songs were just kind of lacking, no real emotion. They just kind of felt like lazy singles and there was no real clear direction in terms of the music in my opinion and that doesn't give me a lot of hope or excitement for what's next like the Chainsmoker 6. I just really hope they go back to the level they were at with So Far So Good. That was so exciting, that was so engaging especially as a fan. Even just looking at all of the songs from Summertime Friends individually like just as songs not a group together as an album or a bundle or anything just looking at the quality of the songs I feel like they were really lacking compared to previous songs previous projects again there were some good parts but in general I would say overall there was a little bit of a letdown in terms of quality they weren't as creative production wise in my opinion as like so far so good from 2022 to 2023 I feel like there was no real improvement or progression in terms of the production quality and the songs were so short it just felt so like uninspired and kind of basic, I guess. Not all of the songs were like that, but I think most of them were, in my opinion. So overall, my final thoughts. This is definitely my least favorite album or project of theirs. I feel like it was their weakest creatively. It didn't feel really cohesive at all. They were just a bunch of short radio singles thrown together in a bundle. I don't really like the rollout. I don't like the idea behind it. I prefer a traditional album. I'm trying to see it as a bundle, but to me, this was the Chainsmokers 5. It was supposed to be this big album, and then, like I said, it was kind of a letdown. I just think it was kind of mid overall. But let's end the video on a high note. I know I was super negative and critical throughout the video. So let's talk about my favorite songs. I think right now my number one favorite song is My Bad. I've absolutely loved that song since it came out. I've had it on repeat. But I also really like Self Destruction Mode and Jungle. Things could change but that's how I feel right now. But I did react to pretty much all of the singles previously. So if you want to see my reaction videos and thoughts about all of the songs individually, you can check out my reaction videos. I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of this video. So again, this whole video is just my opinion. I really want to know what you guys think in the comments. If you're a big Chainsmokers fan like me, let me know what you think of Summertime Friends and let me know what you think of the entire rollout situation. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!